Well, it's an absolutely gorgeous early fall day in Tennessee. The leaves are just about to start changing. They haven't changed yet. The weather just started dropping. It was in the 50s this morning. It's warmed up into the 70s. It's gonna be an awesome day to get out here in the creek, do my favorite type of fishing, which is creek wading. And there's definitely a lot of smallmouth in this creek. I haven't fished it before, but I'm meeting up with my buddy Seth. He's fished it once and we, we've talked about it and he, he uh, kind of searched it out. And now we're gonna meet up and we're gonna get out here and get to fishing, hopefully get on some good fish. There we go, here we go, come on. Oh, there's one looking at it. Come on, hit it. There he is. Oh, all right, number one. A little largemouth. Nice little bass. I saw him swim by, he's thick. This water is already getting cold, ain't it? <laughs> getting cold but we can withstand it for some good old creek fish nice number one chunky largemouth right there all right, all right we'll get you back in there oh here we go here we go there's one Number two out of the same hole, kind of as this. No largemouth. There you go. Alright, back to back largemouth out of this hole right here. There he is. Yes. <laughs> right where Seth said. Beautiful fish. Oh, there's another one. That other one looked like a smallmouth, I think. Come up here and cast in for. I'll get this enough. Man, it's amazing how hard these fish can fight. I was kayaking uh, the other day, catching some f a few. Then you go back to these creek fish, and they're just a whole another breed of animal. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. I think. Yes. That's another good one right there. Yeah, I had to let it sink in there for a little bit. Yeah. I guess they're down deep. Yeah, he was down at the bottom of that deep hole. That's a good one there, boy. That's a pretty fish. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a. Let's see what that is. That's a spotted bass. This one, I can tell, I thought he was a smallmouth. He's fighting a little harder. He's a spot. All right, that's a pretty spotted bass. I love catching these guys out of the creek. All right, so this color was the Galaxy and it's like a black and blue. It's awesome. But I, I'm gonna switch to this one. I've been really dying to try this one out. It's a solid black obsidian. It's dark, the natural one is one of my favorites. And this one is just jet black. It looks so good. We're gonna hook it up and go ahead and change it out. Oh, there's a fish in there. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Oh man, I think it's fighting. He's right on that, uh, or that drop off of that tree stump. Oh man, that's a good fish. Another spotted bass. Oh, that's a pretty fish right there. I, I was thought to be more, I thought we'd got a small mouth. Haven't seen one yet, but they gotta be in here. But this, that's a chunky spotted bass. They may be spots maybe taking over a lot of the areas 
first catch on the obsidian helgramite. A really good quality spotted bass. Oh, there he is. Oh man, there's another one behind it. That's awesome. They're loaded up in here. Man, Seth picked a good creek today. Yes, sir. <laughs> that was all the same hole. Man, these things are beautiful. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely spotted bass, and they are yeah. hammering this thing. Oh right, man, these guys just some great fish right there. A log right there too. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I got a good one. I got a giant. What? What did I hook? What the heck? Oh, it's a. It's it's not a bass. It's a uh, a buffalo or something. That's what we saw right there. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. I, am I ever gonna get this thing in? I don't know. I don't know if I foul hooked him or what. I just cast it over there where they were at, where something was moving in the water. Holy crap. Oh, it's a giant. It's huge. I think he hit it in his mouth. I think it's like a, a buffalo like I caught a while back. This, this would be, have to be a wreck. Oh my God, I gotta figure out how to get down in there. I don't even know how to, oh, did he come off? No, no, he's still in there. Got me in a tree over here. I thought I had a giant bass for a second. I did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Creek fishing adventure. Yes, Look at that. Oh man, that thing's huge. I got my scale with me. If we can get him in, yeah. I'm like, I have no way I'm getting him up here. Right. I'm going to have to climb down the bank. If he, when he tires down, I'm going to climb down there. Okay. He's my pole. If I don't, if he don't break off, I got a, uh, I got a 10 pound braid and I got an eight pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be catching this thing. Well, that's a carp, I think. Well, I, I, I'm not 100% sure. It's a carp, it's a giant. Yeah. What a beast. <laughs> yeah, he got it in his mouth. He definitely ate that thing. He did, yep. Oh, man. Center hooks in. That looks more like a, uh, a common carp. It's longer. That's a giant. I think, oh my God. <laughs> oh man, the Helgramite. Never go anywhere without it. All right, I'm gonna let this thing tire down. I'm gonna try to get down there. Right. Put these in my pocket. Right All right, don't come up. I was just thinking that. I was thinking, don't come. Oh. <sighs> I scare him off. Yeah. A bit. Oh man, he's still fighting. If I can get a gripper on him. Holy oh, crap. it's all right. Yeah, he ain't done. Nope. I should have brought that big old net. I have. Man, he. He's got it wrapped around. Here, let me take that again. I guess. Where's he at? Oh, he's got it wrapped around that. There you go. Is he? Oh, he's still in there. He's still in there. Oh. It's like I'm catching a whale. Holy crap. I'm going to slide in here. Ah. <laughs> that is insane. Oh my goodness. All right, here's my grippers. I got grippers somewhere in my pocket. Oh my God. I about lost my grippers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, hold that for a second. Gotcha. Oh. Oh. All right, I'm gonna get the Helgramite out. Look at that. I'm getting my phone. <laughs> 15, 15 and a half pounds. <laughs> ain't every day you catch a beast like that. I can't believe it. I, we saw something moving in the water and I just made a cast and I hooked into something I thought it was a giant smallmouth. 
this thing just started peeling off. He bit the Helgramite in the mouth. Oh man, 15 and a half pounds. <laughs> oh, we got, man, I think it's so slimy. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. Where's he at? Oh, he's fine. He swam right back off. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Oh man. There you go. Ah. Uh, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. 15 pounds. Well, how's that for a creek fishing adventure? Not expecting that thing, but that, that's why you just cast. You just never know what you're going to hook into. Every time you go fishing, you just never know what you're going to catch. You know, all those minnows. Oh, there we go. There's one. Yeah, I had to sink it in there and let it go a little slower. Well, I thought we'd be getting some smallmouth, but we're, it may be a bad sign that we're getting so many spots. I like catching them, but they do kind of take over certain areas where they're supposed to be smallmouth, but they're really fun to catch, That's, that is for sure. Here we go. Yeah, we got our first smallmouth today. We have found one. Ooh. Oh yeah, come on. Got him. Good fish. Good fish. This is the biggest one today. I thought, well, I think he is. Big old spotty bass. I saw some little sunfish going at it. And then this guy, I, I, he came up and picked it up. Man, this is this is a creek fishing day. Nice. Oh man, that's a good spot of bass. Yes, sir. I'll check that out. Look at that's a, at least a pound and a half. Two pounds. <laughs> I thought he might be a little bigger. All right, he's actually two pounds even. Good fish, good fish right there. There's one. Oh yeah, what is that? I need it to be a smallmouth. What is it? Ooh, wait a minute. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. Got a smallmouth. All right, got the trifecta. Smallmouth, throw in a, uh, you know, giant carp. But, all right, nice little smallmouth. There's my first one. I'm a little worried that, you know, I don't know much about this creek. It may always been like this, but a lot of times the spotted bass can take over the smallmouth habitat, but there's definitely some smallmouth still in here. Good fish. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was a giant when he hit. <laughs> oh, man, he was down at the bottom, down the, under the spillway. Spotted bass. Man, what an awesome place to come to. This is really cool. There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a fighting fish. Yeah, it is a smallmouth. There may be more down past the spillway, so. This is epic. I gotta say it. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. I had to say it again. Oh, he's bleeding. All right, it's a little smally number two. Maybe there's more of them down this side of the spillway. Ouch, back sore. I had to get out of the, your video. I said, shut up, Sam. Oh, no, no. <laughs> just, just use this fish. Just do whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah that felt like a little small uh, hit. I was like, son, he's fighting hard. Yeah. And, but he didn't feel real big. Oh. That looked like another 
another good hole down below. Yeah, the creek's. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, oh. That feels a little better. Man, this place, this spot's shallow, but there's a lot of another smallie. That's awesome. Okay, we found them now. Yes. I'd rather catch these guys than, of course, any of the other ones. Pretty little smallmouth. Now this was a creek fishing adventure. Um, probably not much over three hours, three, three and a half hours. Uh, we went upstream a little ways, came back downstream. It was funny, all, all the, the good fish were all in the small little pockets and all these big long stretches like this, can't get anything out of. And But that, I, I see that a lot in, um, in creeks and rivers. A lot of times big open areas, they got so much area to move around. They're not looking for food everywhere you're at. And those little coals, they're in there because they're looking to eat in there. And man, some good spotted bass. Finally caught some small mouth, got some large mouth, and that giant carb, just what a day. Um, man, this had it all. It was, this was definitely fun. This is why I love getting out here. Plus this is a place that it was easy wading and you really couldn't kayak it because there's, there's a lot of areas that are way too shallow. You do so much dragging and then there's some long stretches. So it's a, one of those places that you really are only gonna get to it by just getting out on foot. And this one is alongside of a greenway. So it's public access. There's places out there like this um to find and to fish so you just gotta do some looking and exploring and sometimes meeting the right people thanks for watching